Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, this video is going to be about some uh, Shenmue news uh, of sorts. Uh, first and foremost, the GDC 2014. It is uh, the Game Developers Conference. Uh, basically all that's happening is that Yu Suzuki, uh, the man who created Shenmue, is going to be having a conference uh, at the Game Developers Conference about uh, Shenmue, and his translator will be Mark Cerny, who is the architect of the PlayStation 4 and one of the current PlayStation team leads. Now don't get your hopes up just yet. Uh, they are uh, good friends from back when they both worked at Sega. However, picking him is interesting, just, just for the very nature of his job and the unique unicorn-like situation that is Shenmue 3. Oh god, wouldn't it be awesome <laughs> if... if that actually amounted to something if they actually got together and they were like, "This is we're going to announce it, Shenmue 3, or Shenmue HD, or something. Something exciting would happen. It's possible. Uh, and then again, it could just be, end up being an hour of them talking about how hard programming the game was. I don't really know. We'll find out. That's the whole point. Anyway, so there's a link in the description to a live broadcast of that, hosted by, I believe, GameSpot. And uh, we invite you... Uh, to watch that and hopefully share in the great, amazing, special, awesome news or the somewhat disappointing, horrible, sad, terrible news, depending upon what it is. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the date of that will be March 19th. It happens at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time in the United States, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 4 p.m. Central Standard, which is where I am, and 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's, of course, the U.S. and Canada and Central and Southern America, but uh, other parts of the world, I'm sorry, you'll have to, I don't know, obviously every single time zone, so you'll have to look into that uh, if you are interested, and I highly recommend you check it out if you are a Shenmue fan, because we don't get conferences like this very often. So, that being said, uh, there is more news of sorts. Uh, the recent Shenmue Thunderclap from the previous month set all sorts of records. It actually had a reach of over 9 million people. Now, if you're not familiar with that, there's a link in the description to that as well. If you have a Twitter account, or if you're willing to make one, or if you're willing to make a fake one even, uh, you can link up with the Thunderclap. Again, link in the description. And uh, that will connect you to connect your Twitter account to this app, essentially. On the third of every month, uh, that app uses your account to send out a tweet to Sega, to Sony, to whoever, uh, letting them know you want Shenmue 3 or Shenmue HD or whatever you want. They, I mean, it's predetermined, some sort of Shenmue. You want Shenmue, that's the whole point. Um, they send it out, and uh, when it has a reach of that many people, it's kind of hard for them to ignore it. So uh, that continues to grow and expand through... Basically, people like you clicking on it and uh, helping us out and helping us gain some reach there. So I appreciate uh, that continued support and remind you to continue to do it because every month you got to do it again and it, we keep getting bigger. I mean, this one was nine million, previous was three million, then a million, and so on. It's it's gaining some serious momentum. So hopefully that continues to grow. And finally, I have to address something stupid which is the uh, Shenmue trademark issue. Now, if you're not familiar, the story goes as follows. Sega loses Shenmue trademark after lack of use. Now, what does that mean? Most people are freaking out saying, oh, Shenmue's dead, that's it, that's officially the last nail in the coffin, the derp, it's over. Now, anyone who says that doesn't know the trademarks and IP rights are not even close to the same thing. First, I will address that this trademark issue only applies to North America. It does not apply to Japan, for example, where the game is made or would be made. It does not apply to Europe, of course, either, or Australia, or Asia, or anywhere else. Just North America. And in North America, it's not exactly a big deal because, as I said a moment ago, IP rights and trademarks are not the same thing. Trademarks only apply to words, so the only thing Sega doesn't have is the phrase Shenmue. They could release the game with any other title, such as something stupid, Rio's Adventure 3, it doesn't matter what you call it. This has happened before in the past. For example, uh, the Genesis, as we know it in North America, was released in Japan and in Europe as the Mega Drive. It wasn't called the Mega Drive in North America because that phrase was already trademarked by someone else. Uh, the same is true of the Dreamcast. 
Uh, in Japan and North America, it used an orange swirl. In Europe, because of a German trademark on a, an orange swirl, they had to release it as blue or white. And uh, furthermore, this applies to games as well. The game Star Fox, Star Fox 64, as we know in North America and in Japan, had to be referred to as Starwing in Europe for the exact same reason. All they did was lose the trademark to someone else. And in this case, they didn't lose it to someone else, they lost it to just lack of use. They can repurchase it. It is really not a big deal. But they still own the characters. They still own the game. It's still theirs. That's just... It's, it's, trust me, it's just not a big deal. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, now that that is out of the way, happier thoughts. The GDC 2014. Click the link, watch it, find out. Hopefully we'll get some awesome news, but don't necessarily count on it. But yeah, we'll see as a collective group. So thank you guys for watching this video. Now click on the link and go hopefully watch that video. Bye. <laughs>